In this video, I will show you how to add a sundial widget to your iPhone's lock screen. iOS 16 is required, and lock screen widgets are not supported on iPad yet. To get started, press your phone's right side lock button twice. This should bring up the lock screen. Now long press on the screen until a customize button is visible at the bottom of the screen. You can customize your current lock screen or create a new one, allowing you to jump between different lock screens and associated widgets. We just want to add widgets to this screen, so we will stay here and I'll touch the customize button to bring up the lock screen editor. In my example, there are no widgets yet. If there were, we would have to remove some first to make room. Widgets can be placed in two areas, above or below the clock. Only one widget can go above the clock, while up to four small widgets or two large widgets can be placed in the area below the clock. I'm going to add sundial widgets to all the available slots just to show you around sundial lock screen widgets. I'll start with the area above the clock. Without a widget you see a long form of today's date. I touch the date area to bring up the widget picker. At the top of the picker are recent widgets I may have used. I am going to scroll down to find Sundial's full list of widgets for this top area. As of this video, there are four widgets available for this top slot, one counting down to selected sun or moon events, one showing the Sundial dials and additional sun and or moon data, the moon phase pictogram and phase name, or the moon phase pictogram and additional moon data. Every Sundial lock screen widget is configurable and I'll show you how to configure in a moment. The examples shown in the widget picker are for the default options. I'm going to start by creating a widget that tracks the next civil dawn, sunrise, solar noon, sunset, and civil dusk. Solar noon is when the sun is highest in the sky. Civil dawn and dusk are when the sun is 6 degrees below the horizon. I touch the first widget to get started. This adds it to my lock screen. Note how today's date now is in an abbreviated form, providing room for our widget. I want to customize this widget, so I touch the actual widget to bring up the options for the widget. In this case, the defaults are close to what I want. Sunrise slash sunset and civil dawn slash dusk are already selected. I just need to switch solar noon on. I then touch the circled X to close the options. I want to add more sundial widgets, this is a sundial demo after all, so I will close the choose widget sheet, which is still present to show options for the top widget slot, and then touch the add widgets button to bring up the options for the lower widgets. Again, iOS lists recent and suggested widgets. I'm going to scroll down and find sundial and touch it to bring up the full list of sundial widgets for the area below the clock. Now we can swipe left to find some widgets to add. This one looks useful. It shows our sundial sun and moonrise slash set dials along with various other information, which I can customize. The outer rings in the widget represent the sunrise and set cycle over a 24-hour day. Noon is at the top and midnight at the bottom. The inner ring represents the moon's rise and set cycle over the same day. Let's add this widget by touching it. I then touch the new widget to customize. By default this widget shows the sun's altitude, azimuth, and percentage of day or night completed. I'm going to change two of the extras. I'll change the first slot to the moon illumination. And I'll change the second slot to the moon's age in days. The moon's age is the number of days since the last new moon. There are approximately 29 and one half days between each new moon cycle. I again press the close button to see my changes. Let's keep swiping left to see what else we can add. I want this, a widget just with the moon phase. Let me add that. But I'd like a photo of the moon phase instead of a drawing. So let me change that. Okay, I have one more widget slot available. Let me see what else I can add. Hmm. I think I want to have a countdown to the moon's rise, peak, and set. Let me go back to the small lunar event widget and add that. 
I want to count down to lunar noon when the moon is highest in the sky in addition to rise and set. I also would like this widget to have a background behind it. Now note one important thing. You can't just press the lock button on your phone to save your new widget setup. In fact, if you do you will lose all your changes. I need to touch the done button in the upper right to save my changes. Now I select set as wallpaper pair to use the same background for my lock screen on my home screen. And then I'll touch on the screen to show my new lock screen. Well, that's the overview for lock screen widgets for iPhone. If you have any ideas for a new widget, feel free to contact us through sundialapp.com. There are links on our website to contact us by email, Twitter, or Facebook. We'll be adding a new home home screen widget video soon. Check in the video description for links to related videos.